People arrived at Logan Airport today on some of the last flights out of Florida. At this point, there aren't many options for people who still want to get out. WBZ's Louisa Moeller spoke with a college student from Tewksbury who's now escaped two major storms in a matter of days. Here we go. Now we're heating up a little bit here. Maximus Matuccio can comfortably toss the football in his front yard in Tewksbury as Hurricane Milton heats up in the Gulf of Mexico. Just a day ago, things for Maximus were dicey. It's just absolute, like, terror of just, I need to get my baby home. The University of Tampa sophomore was facing his second hurricane evacuation from campus in less than a month and sky high flight prices. Mom night. Amanda did what she could. And every time I tried to book a flight, it would disappear. Or, you know, I was looking at airports and he doesn't have a car. He finally hitched a ride with a friend to Orlando and waited it out. I uh, sat in Orlando airport for 12 hours waiting for my 9.30 p.m. flight. Did you get any sleep? Uh, yes, I did. I slept <laughs> on the airport floor. Landing in Logan Airport last night with Tampa's evacuation traffic, empty grocery store shelves, and leftover Hurricane Helene damage in his rear view. Everybody had their lifelong like belongings in their front yard, which is something I know Florida's really prioritizing right now. Not everyone is traveling north. The Northeast Public Power Association shared these pictures of line workers doing Helene recovery. A large portion of them will now head further south to Orlando. In all, we'll have uh, 59 personnel in Orlando, and that is teamed up with the group we still have working in Lawrence, South Carolina. Maximus hopes that the city and university he loves will stay strong until he returns. Whoever is staying, I just pray for them and I hope the best for them. The FEMA 1 region, that's the region that's responsible for disaster response in the six northeastern states, is also sending personnel down to Florida. In Logan Airport, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News. All right, Louisa, thank you. Stay with WBZ and CBS News as we track Hurricane Milton and its impact on Florida.